Hi students, I hope all of you had good health. Today we will be learning about atom, molecules and radicals and also about few things from language of chemistry as revision and recapitulation. Let us discuss about the following terms that is atom, molecule, radical and valency. Now, as I have already said you that atom is the smallest indivisible unit of matter. That means atom cannot be broken down into more constituent units by any physical means or chemical means to break it into its constituent unit. That is why it is the smallest indivisible, indivisible unit of matter that is hardly having any independent existence. Next is molecule. Molecule is the smallest unit of a compound or element which always has an independent existence. Now, as I have already said you that uh, matter can be made up of molecules like one kind of molecule or more kind of molecule. That is, uh, it may be of homogeneous type or heterogeneous type. But whatever the thing is, any compound or element is made up of a constituent unit called molecule that always have an independent existence unlike atom. Next is what is radical? A radical is an atom or group of atoms of different elements that behave as a single unit with a positive or negative charge on it. That means it is having charge. Now, what is the meaning of positive and negative charge over here, students? Positive means it has the ability to donate electron. And negative charge on it means it has the ability to accept electron. Now, depending on this phenomena, valency of elements are depicted. Like valency is the number of electron donated or accepted by the valence shell of an atom during chemical combination. In our, in our last uh, classes also I explained you that students that, uh, that atoms are generally neutral but whenever it uh, receives electron or donates electron, it becomes charged, that is active, and it enables the chemical combination to proceed. Now, if the valence is positive, that means the radical or atom is donating electron to gain a stable position, or if the valence is negative, that means it is simply gaining electron to attain a stable position. So this is the definition of the following terms. Next is write the name of the elements present in the following compound. First is common salt. Now what is common salt students? It is NaCl. Now NaCl it is made up of which elements? Na represents sodium and Cl represents chlorine. So the element sodium and chlorine is present in common salt. Next is ammonia. What is the formula of ammonia which we have already learned students? It is NH4. That means the elements which are present in it is nitrogen and hydrogen. Next is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is the formula is H2SO4. That means the elements which make up or compose sulfuric acid is 
hydrogen sulfur and oxygen next is glucose glucose the formula is c6 h12 and o6 and the elements which are present in glucose is carbon hydrogen and oxygen next is sodium hydroxide so the formula is we have already learned it is naoh so the elements which are present in sodium hydroxide is sodium oxygen and hydrogen next is acetic acid and the formula is ch3cwh now what are the elements which are present over here is carbon hydrogen and oxygen so students we learn about what about the names of the elements present in the following compounds next is what does the following represent 2co2 now whenever this 2 will be written in front of co2 it represents the number of molecule and whenever the 2 will be written below over here where i am showing the mouse cursor this represents atom that means this entire 2 co2 means two molecules of carbon dioxide is there again if we break the parts into more simpler form we will find that one atom of carbon combines with two atom of oxygen to form two molecule of carbon dioxide over here next is h2s h2s means hydrogen sulfide and since 2 is written in front of h2s therefore two molecules of hydrogen sulfide is represented over here next is 5 h2so4 what is the meaning of 5 h2so4 it means sulfuric acid that is h2so4 is sulfuric acid that means five molecules of sulfuric acid is there next is 6 nano3 now what is the meaning of nano3 it means sodium nitrate that means 6 is written in front of nano3 that means it is six molecules of sodium nitrate so this are the following next is write the symbols and valencies of the following radicals what are the symbols and valences of the following radical it is magnesium ion magnesium ion since the symbol is mg so i have written over here but it's a radical radical means either it has donated or accepted some electron that is why the symbol becomes mg plus 2 and the valency is 2 why because in order to attain a stable position, magnesium donates two electron to a respective atom. Next is ammonium. What is the formula for it? It is NH4 and plus Y because it's a radical. That means again, it will be donated one valence shell electron to another uh, atom or molecule so that it uh, attains a stable position therefore the valency is one next is nh4 next is co3 co3 means carbonate and for carbonate since it's a radical i have written minus two why minus two because it will be accepting two electrons to attain a stable position therefore the valency is two next is nitrate now since nitrate is a radical so the formula becomes no3 minus and why no3 minus 
because it will be donating, it will be accepting one electron from a respective uh, atom or molecule. Therefore, the formula becomes NO3 minus and the valence is one. Next is oxide. Oxide is O minus two. Why minus two? Because it will be gaining two electron to attend the stable electronic configuration and the valency is two. Next is bisulfate. Bisulfate means HSO4 and it is represented as HSO4 minus or minus one. That means it will be again accepting one electron to attain a stable position and the valency is one. Next is aluminium. Aluminium is Al. And since it's again an ion, so it will be Al minus three and the valency is three because it will, sorry, it is Al plus three because it will be donating three electrons to attain a stable position. Next is name one ion for each of the following valency plus one plus two plus three. And if we follow uh, the periodic table up to first 20 elements properly, we will see that valency with plus one, it is of sodium. Next valency with plus two is calcium, magnesium and so on, even barium also. Valency with plus three, it is aluminium. Next is name one iron, each of valencies minus one, minus two, minus three. Now this plus sign represents how many electron, that is valence electron will be donated. And minus one means how many valence electron will be accepted. Now for chlorine, the valency is minus one. For oxygen, the valency is minus two. And for nitrogen, the valency is minus three. Next is valency of calcium is two. Write the valency of other radicals in the following. Now, already it is mentioned that calcium is having valency two. Now, when the compound calcium oxide is formed, they are asking that what will be the valency of oxygen over here? Now, as we can see that there is no numerical value below written over here in the suffix region. That means it's very obvious that Oxygen is also having a valency two. That is why both sides, the two are canceled and the compound formula becomes CaO. Therefore, valency of oxygen is two. Next is CaOH whole two. That means over here, OH is the radical hydroxide. And since bracket two is written, that means Definitely hydroxide is val having valency one and calcium is having valency two. Therefore, while forming the formula of the compound calcium hydroxide, two is written in this suffix region. And therefore, and one is written over here, so that is that is not mentioned. That means hydroxide, that is OH is having the valency one. Next is calcium carbonate. That is CaCO3. Definitely, there is, uh, we know that valence, uh, the formula for carbonate is CO3. And as there is no uh, numerical value written below calcium, that means definitely ca carbonate is having valency too. And I have written it over here. Next is calcium chloride. Since Cl2, this 2 is mentioned over here. That means definitely valency of calcium is two. Therefore, uh, the two is written below chlorine. And since there is valency of chlorine is one, therefore nothing is written below calcium. And therefore the valency of chlorine is one. Next is write the name of the compound so written over here. 
Now NH4 whole 2 in bracket it is SO4. Now NH4 means it means ammonium and SO4 means sulfate. So the entire name of the compound is ammonium sulfate. Next is CaNO4 whole 2 that means calcium is represented by Ca and NO4 is represented as nitrate. Therefore, the entire formula of the compound becomes calcium nitrate. Next is FES. Fe means iron and this capital S represents sulfide. Therefore, the entire formula of the compound becomes iron sulfide. Next, we have NH4OH. Next, NH4OH means NH4 represents the radical ammonia and OH represents the radical hydroxide. So, the entire name of the compound becomes ammonium hydroxide. Next is CuCO3. Now, Cu represents the symbol of copper and CO3 is the radical for carbonate. So, the entire formula of the compound becomes copper carbonate. Next is HgO. Next, Hg represents the symbol for mercury and O represents the symbol for oxygen. Therefore, the entire name of the compound becomes mercuric oxide. Why oxide? Because oxygen is already involved in combination with mercury and as a result, it has already formed the radical oxide. That means after, donate, after accepting the electrons. Next is ZnCl2. Zn represents the symbol for zinc and Cl represents the symbol for fluorine. So the entire formula becomes zinc chloride. Next, ZNS. Zn again represents the symbol for zinc and S represents the symbol for sulfide. Therefore, the entire formula of the compound becomes zinc sulfide. Next is H2S. H2S means H represents the symbol for hydrogen and S represents the symbol for sulfide. Therefore, the entire name of the compound becomes hydrogen sulfide. Next, let us learn about the molecular formula. Means in the previous slide, we have learned about the writing of the name of a compound when the formula was given. Now over here, compound name is given, we will be writing the formula. Next is sodium sulfide. Now what is the symbol for sodium? It is Na and sulfide is S. And as sulfide is having the valency 2, so the formula becomes Na2S. Next is magnesium oxide. And the symbol for magnesium is Mg and oxide is O. Therefore, the entire formula becomes MgO. Why? Because on both the side, the valency is 2 which gets cancelled out. Next is calcium hydroxide. Now the symbol for calcium becomes Ca and hydroxide is OH. And since the valency of calcium is 2, so we are putting a bracket. Within bracket, we are writing OH and just outside bracket, we are putting 2 in the suffix region. This way the formula is written. Next one is Hydrogen chloride. The symbol for hydrogen is H and chloride is Cl. Now since both are having valency 1, therefore the entire formula becomes HCl. 
Next is sulfuric acid. Now, sulfuric acid, it is simply made up of H2SO4. Okay, that is two atom of hydrogen, one atom of sulfur and four atom of oxygen. Next is iron two sulfide. Now iron two means sulfide is having valency two and since in bracket it is written two that means iron is having valency two. Therefore the entire formula becomes FES. In the next one it is iron three sulfate. Now iron is having valency three and sulfate is having valency two. And for symbol for iron is Fe and the formula for radical sulfate is SO4. So we will simply write Fe2. This 2 is over here due to the valency of sulfate and sulfate is SO4 which will come in bracket and outside bracket we will be writing 3 which is the valency of iron over here since in bracket we have already see we can see that in the question it is written three next is nitric acid nitric acid the symbol is the formula is hno3 next is calcium phosphate now calcium is ca and phosphate is po4 that is the formula now since phosphate is having valency 3, so it will come below in the suffix region of calcium. And since calcium is having valency 2, it will come below the suffix region of phosphate. And this phosphate will come in bracket. Next is aluminium sulphate. Aluminium, it is Al. The symbol is Al and the valency is 3. And sulphate, this formula is SO4 and valency is 2. Therefore, in the suffix region, we are writing 2 below aluminium and sulfate, that is SO4, comes within bracket and 3 is written outside bracket. Next is magnesium nitride. Now, magnesium is Mg and nitride is capital N, but the valence is 3 in case of nitride and for magnesium, it is 2. Now, if we simply cross it, then it will be Mg3 and N2. Next is the valency of sodium ion is 1. This is the information which is already given. Now write the molecular formula of the following compound of sodium. Now sodium oxide. Oxide means the valency is 2. Therefore, the symbol becomes Na2O. Next is sodium sulfate. Sulfate, the formula is SO4 and the valency is 2. Therefore, it becomes Na2 SO4. This is the formula. Next, sodium carbonate. Again, carbonate is having the formula CO3 and valency 2. Therefore, the formula of the compound sodium carbonate becomes Na2CO3. Next is sodium hydroxide. The symbol for sodium is Na and hydroxide is OH. Therefore, the entire formula of the compound becomes NaOH. Next is sodium nitrate. The symbol for sodium is Na and nitrate is NO3. Therefore, the formula becomes NaNO3. Next is an element belonging to group 5A has valency 3. What would be its valency? Next is what is the what is variable valency? Give two example of element showing variable valency. Now there are some elements with more than one valency. Means uh, like iron is having valency two, three. Now this type of val exhibiting element valency is known as variable valency. And example is iron, copper, and so on. Next is give the group number of the following elements present in the periodic table. If you go through the periodic table properly, you will see that magnesium is having the group number 2A. Carbon is having the group number 4A. Sulfur is having the group number 6A. 
and neon is having the group zero. Next is an element belongs to group 5A. What would be its valency? Name to such elements. Now, valency belong uh, group element belonging to group 5A is having valency 3. Why students? Now, up to group 8, as I said, group 8 are all noble gases. That means 5. If the group is 5, that means the electron in the valence shell is 5. So how many electrons are left to acquire the entire eight electrons in the valence shell? It is three. That means it required to accept three electrons from any kind of atom or molecules to become stable. Therefore, the valence is three. And the example of two such elements is nitrogen and phosphorus. Next is an element belonging to group two. What would be its valency? Write the formula of the molecules of compound it will form with element in 5A, 6A and 7A groups. Now an element belonging to group 2 generally has valency 2. Why? Group 2 means the valential electron is 2 therefore it is placed in group 2. Now formula with 5A. A element from 5A is nitrogen. Therefore the formula becomes Mg3N2. Why 3? Because nitrogen is having valency 3 and magnesium is having valency 2. So the formula is Mg3N2. Next, formula with 6A. Now, oxygen is one element that belongs to 6A and having valency 2 like magnesium. So the formula becomes MgO. Next is formula with 7A. Now, 7A elements are having how many electrons in the valence shell? 7. And how many required to complete the octet shell? It is 1. So, the valency of chlorine is 1. And calcium is 2. So, the formula becomes CaCl2. Next is complete the following. Okay. Atoms are dash. Now atoms are what? Let us check. Now an ion with positive charge is called dash. Next, an ion with negative charge is called dash. Next, 2H2O means dash atoms of hydrogen. Just think students, how many atoms? Just think it. Ozone is a dash gas. What gas? Let us check. This is the answer. Atoms are neutral. Now what is neutral? Neutral means having no charge. And what is the meaning of no charge? That means it has not gained or released or donated any electron or shared any electron. That is why it is uh, neutral in charge. Therefore, atoms are generally neutral. Next, an ion with positive charge. That means atom which has already donated electron are positively charged and are known as cation. Next, an ion with negative charge. Negative charge means atom which has already gained some electron and has become negatively charged. Okay? atom which has already gained some electron and the answer is anion. Anion are ion which is negatively charged because it has already accepted electrons from other atoms for chemical combination. Next, 2H2O means students, two atom of hydrogen and uh, two atom of hydrogen is there. That is why it is written two. And what is ozone? Ozone is a triatomic gas. That means three atoms are there. That is formula is O3. That is why it is known as triatomic gas. So I hope all of you have understood today's video lesson students. It was a recapitulation of the chapter on atom, molecules, radicals along with language of chemistry. So if you have any doubt, any uh, clarifications you need, please note it down so that I can clarify it during our next 
गूगल मीट सेशन थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स हैव अ नाइस डे